Okay, I only see one chicken outside, but not the others. Let's go feed them. I already fed the chickens early this morning, but now we're gonna give them a snack, some cracked corn. Welcome back guys. Today is another beautiful day. Last night was a little rough. We had high winds and everything froze. Temperatures are very low. I'll show you in a second. And the chickens, yeah, I came out this morning. I had two eggs. I came out about seven, I think it was. And yeah, only two. Maybe now, it's 10 o'clock now, so maybe now I'll have another one or two. I'm getting between two and four a day now. I used to get eight to 10, but that was a few months ago. You know, with the less lighting that we have now, they kind of stopped, not completely stopped, but they slowed down in egg laying. All right, let me open up this fence. Yeah, I couldn't open up this yesterday. It was frozen like a rock. And trying to get this fence out, the post, yeah, it kind of like, it, wants, it freezes on the ground and it's very hard to pull up. Now, when I came out this morning, only two of the isobrowns came out to greet me, Lila and Bella. None of the others wanted to come out. And here's El Guapo. I have... I have a snack for you. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Nope. All right. Good morning to you too. <laughs> All right. Maybe one or two will come out now, but most of them won't. So let's feed them inside. All right, guys, so this is my thermometer. That's Fahrenheit to the right, Celsius to the left. And let me see, it says about six degrees right now. Six degrees Fahrenheit. All right, guys, I'm coming. So, oh, and with the wind chill factor, it feels about, it feels like it's 14 below zero. It is a little windy right now, not as bad as it was last night. I just secured the chickens in their coop. They're safe and sound. It was raining about a couple of hours ago, but the temperatures dropped like a rock and everything is turning into ice. Everything. All right, guys, here's your snack. I'm not gonna make you come out. You see a jefe? He's always last. He lets the ladies eat first, and then he'll come out and eat. Yeah, he'll jump in there later, but He's been doing that, wow, for months, which um, I'm glad. Yeah. And Guapo too, or Guapo kind of like stands back and then he goes in once the ladies are almost done, which yeah, it's a uh, good manners guys, so I'm happy. Yeah, these are real roosters. That's the way they're supposed to behave. Ah, uh, guys, check this out. I have one more egg today. Oh, this thing is frozen. Oh, wow. All right, I have one more egg today. Yep, isobrown egg. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add some WD-40 to the hinges here. I'll be back in a second to the coop. I have to get better gloves because my fingertips froze in just two minutes. All right, guys, so I got better gloves this time and I brought a little bench with me so I can sit with the chickens for a few minutes and maybe talk to them. <laughs> All 
right guys so, yeah so the temperature according to my phone it is five five degrees Fahrenheit check it out see that and with the wind chill factor it feels like 14 below zero and yeah sometimes we get some strong gusts here and I just felt one a minute ago so when I came, like I said earlier, when I came out this morning, only two chickens came out to greet me, uh, and all the others stay stayed inside the coop. Last night, I think it dropped to like uh, 20 below zero with a wind chill factor, maybe a little bit lower. But the chickens are fine, as you saw. Chickens are healthy; they're not complaining yet. Most of the time, I do leave the the exit door open for the coop, but last night I decided to close it. Anytime it drops below zero. I close that door, the little door on the side. But uh, yeah, they're happy, they're healthy. And let me show you something. I'm very happy about the heated water that I get. And that's the tip for today. If you have chickens, get a heated water. Kind of like this one right here. It can be, it can be similar. And look, the water is not frozen, right? Now, according to this, the instructions of this heated water, it's supposed to work to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, but as you already know, it dropped to below zero last night and the water did not freeze. So this is working better than expected. But what if you don't have a heated water? This is what you do. All right, excuse me, Bella. All right, guys, so if you don't have a heated water, get one of these rubber tubs right here. I believe this is a two quart tub, two or three. And it takes a while for the water to freeze in here. You may have to uh, fill it or break the ice maybe twice a day, but uh, this will do the job. There you go, guys. This is Tippy. This is a, an Australorp and she has a very thick coat. Look at this. Look at all these feathers. All right, Tippy. Okay, okay. Yeah, she has a very thick coat. She doesn't feel the cold at all. All right. So if you live in a northern climate, Wyandots and Australorps are perfect. I mean, these chickens do well only in the north, in the, you know, in the cold states, but they don't do very well in the south due to their very thick coats. Yeah, they tend to overheat down there, so but if you live in upstate New York or Canada, yeah, these are excellent. Right, Tippy? Man, you gained a lot of weight since last time. What happened? You've been eating a lot of snacks? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. She weighs about six, seven pounds, I think. Yeah, you put on a lot of weight. All right. You go back to the coop. Right, there's Bella and at Hefe they just came out tomorrow what's tomorrow's temperature oh wow heat wave it's gonna go up to 21 degrees yeah <laughs> that's it's an improvement I don't mind this cold weather by the way last year we were hitting below zero every other day in January and February and I have a feeling this year is not gonna be any different well 2023 in a couple of weeks in one week by the way Yep, so it's, uh, what do we have? 21 on Sunday, Christmas Day. Uh, 24 on Monday, 26 on Tuesday. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, but like I said earlier, everything froze. All the snow, it's like a piece of vice everywhere you step. So and you have to be careful out here uh, to avoid a, a slip or a fall. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit of straw. I'm gonna lay it down on the chicken, uh, chicken coop floor. And look guys, I do see the chickens come out for food. Uh, again, that is, yeah, that is Bella and that is Lila here. What's up girls? Yeah, they're, they're drinking water. Notice that it's only five degrees and that water has not frozen, so you want to have water available at all times. And there's the feed. I gave them feed early this morning, fresh feed, and they're happy. Right, Bella? Right? 
Oh, she's going back inside. And guys, I give them a snack twice a day, but you don't have to. You can give it to them once a day. But if you do feed them a snack once a day, crack corn or scratch grains, try to do it right before they go to bed, especially now in the winter. So they have something to metabolize when they're in their coop roosting. Why? It builds energy and provides heat. Most of them came out for a minute. I was adding some pine shavings to the, to the coop. I'm running low on straw, but that'll do. I added about an inch, one inch of that to the floor just to make it look nicer. But uh, yeah, now they're going back in. What's up, Jefe? Do you have anything to say, Jefe? Go ahead. Go ahead. Kikiriki. Well, say Merry Christmas. One or the other. Go ahead. You have a very thick coat, don't you? You don't feel any of this, do you? All right, guys. So in a few minutes, I'm going to go in inside and make some coquito. It's an adult drink. Before I make the coquito, let's go check out the boiler. Now, this thing is 16 years old. It's a beast. It, it does a really good job in heating the house and my hot water. I have plenty of wood here and there for this winter season. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Okay, so now it's Coquito time. As most of you know, Coquito is a holiday drink. Done during Christmas in Puerto Rico. So you can't have Christmas in Puerto Rico unless you have Coquito. And I make this recipe at least once a year. And I am gonna make uh, maybe one bottle, possibly two. And the second bottle I'll just give away to my daughter. So these are the ingredients. You don't have to write anything down. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna write all the ingredients and the amounts on the uh, description below of this video. So let me show you real quick exactly how I'm gonna make it. All right guys, so I'm, I'm gonna use 15 ounces of cream of coconut, 14 ounces of condensed milk, 12 ounces of evaporated milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, uh, one quarter teaspoon of uh, nutmeg, and one and a half cup of rum, but one and a half cup seems a little bit too low. So I may double it, triple it, we'll see. So I'm gonna put everything into this blender. So we're gonna start with the cream of coconut. That's a little hard. So I'm gonna use this spatula to pull it out. Only the top is hard, then underneath it's nice and soft and liquid. And now I'm gonna add the condensed milk. Yeah, it's kind of like a syrup, right? And at the same time, I'm gonna add the evaporated milk. Now, if you can't find evaporated milk, you can use, you can use coconut milk instead of evaporated milk. All right, where's the spatula? Oh, it's in here. <laughs> That's my wife, by the way. Do you want to see her? No. She's hiding from the camera. Now, anyway, by the way, I've done this before with my father in Puerto Rico. My wife has done a Coquito video as well on her channel. Yeah, she's laughing at me because I'm not concentrating. Oh, and by the way, today is Christmas Eve. Again, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna wing it here, I'm gonna eyeball it. Well, that's about all I had. All right. And a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So what I'm gonna do is, is this. Maria, como se llama esto? Cuando, cuando tú lo rayas, no es moscada. Yeah. En español. Pero como tú, cuando, cuando tú lo rayas, ¿cómo se llama? I wish it was a faster way of doing this. 
but this is what my wife gave me. He said about a, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So, but how do you call this thing what, that I'm doing now? I don't know. I'm not a cook, by the way. I've never used these things, especially this one. All right, now this recipe calls for a cup and a half of rum. Bacardi rum. Or you can do, use any Puerto Rican rum, like Toncu, Serrayes, and a whole bunch of others, if you can find them. But definitely try to find Puerto Rican rum. Doncu is pretty famous in Puerto Rico, by the way. Up here in the States, we can only find Bacardi, but if you can find Doncu of one of the others, excellent. So, they say a cup and a half, but I'm, a, I'm gonna wing this. And I'm going to add what I think it should have. I think it's going to be more like two cups or three or half a bottle. <laughs> yeah. I think half a bottle, guys. I don't need a measuring cup for this. Oh, wow. I think I may have overdone it a little bit. So it's about a half, okay? You can add less. You can add more. It's up to you. And now... We're going to blend all this together for about two minutes. And how do you do this? How do you... Ah. Nope. There we go. All right. Power. Alright guys, so it's been about two minutes and I'm about to taste it. Nope, not yet. Let me pour it into the bottle. I have this bottle here that my wife picked up from the store the other day and she has this little funnel thingy and I'm just going to pour it in there. Let's see how much we got. Hopefully a full bottle. And by the way, this is a little bit strong, so you don't want to overdo it. Small cups. Oh, there we go. Oh, a little bit more than a bottle. Okay. Yep. But only a little bit more, Maria. Check it out. Coquito, officially. Yeah. It took me long enough to make it. I should have done it weeks ago. All right, so I'm gonna pour a little bit here. Oh, and by the way, you wanna refrigerate this for a couple of hours? I mean, you don't have to. If you're like me, you can do it right now, right? So, salud. <laughs> oh yeah, you can feel it. You want some, Maria? No, no, no. Are you sure you don't want it, No. Come on, come on. Let's celebrate. Yeah. All right. Oh, and guess what? It's 2 o'clock, and the temperature has gone up to a whopping 10 degrees. Wow. You see that? 10. Heat wave. Compared to this morning. Ah, again, be careful with this stuff. It's, it's super strong, okay? But if you don't know what Coquito is, definitely I highly recommend it. Go do it today. I mean, we still have, you know, next week and uh, New Year's Eve, right? So, again, salud. All right, guys, this is only a short video. So from Lila, the flock and myself, I wanted to wish her a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Mm -hmm.